searching you for some time Can't stop staring at those ocean eyes Burning cities and napalm skies What is up you guys? It's your girl Ava Loving It and welcome to another daily travel vlog we are currently here at shui modo and it is the tallest pagoda here in myanmar it stands 374 feet above the ground it's so tall mm. we booked this tour through the help of Gluck app, I actually have a discount code. I'm gonna put it in the description box. So if you guys wanna book activities with Gluck, just use my code. To enter this pagoda, you have to remove your slippers. As you can see, everyone else is barefoot. You have to cover your shoulders for women and your knees. People from Myanmar are 94% Buddhist. The 6% are Catholic, Christians, Muslims and you know the rest Jewish this serves as a ticket for three pagodas and one palace here in Bago We paid 10,000 Burmese kyat for this our tour guide his name Hello. is Chan He's a really really great Tour guide because all of the informations that I told you guys came from him <laughs> After the Shui Modo Pagoda, Pagoda na kami, mga mams. Lunch time! Yes. Okay, she's not minding me. She's so busy with. You'll find out soon. Here we got chicken curry and sauteed spinach. Let's eat. <laughs> so much one of the buttons of my skirt fell off and I had to unzip my skirt because my belly is so big who this life huh Chibog. for our third okay selfie first <laughs> For our second stop, we are here at the Gambosa. Gamb Hello, darkness, my old friend. Gambosa Taridi, which is the Golden Palace. They said that the second emperor of Myanmar lives here. There are three emperors in Myanmar. The second one lives here at the Gambosa Taridi Palace. It is so pretty! It's so pretty! Chica! Welcome to Chavez Crib. Oh, yeah, you know, just you know, all just in gold. Here. No big deal. <laughs> Everybody's welcome to take photos inside my house. <laughs> I can't eat in my body when you're around. And I know that this party's bringing you down. But you ain't like nobody, nobody. I feel it in my body, my body. I feel it in my body when you're around. Before you enter the reclining Buddha, there is a market where you can buy a lot of souvenirs. Cha and I bought these called Longji. We will be using this tomorrow to cover up our legs. When we enter the pagoda, we can't show our legs and shoulders. I also bought the sarong because you know how much I love sarongs. And I don't know if you can tell. Here in Myanmar, a lot of ladies usually put stuff on their face and it's called a nekar. This lady right here has a nekar on her face and it's said that it is good to protect harmful UV rays. Burmese men find women attractive whenever they put nekar on their face. This is how you do it. That's a yellow face. I just put it. I want to introduce you to my new foundation and it is in a nekar shade. Matakot ka na Rihanna. No more Fenty. Chica! This is the ready-made nekar. So if you don't have time to rub this consistently in a circular motion to get that paste, 
um, I would recommend for you guys to buy this one instead. Now you have Nikar on your face. <laughs> Feeling you, but I'm still missing you, and I can't see the end of this. Just wanna feel your kiss against my lips, and now all this time is passing by. But I still can't seem to tell you why it hurts me every time I see you Realize how much I need you I hate you, I love you, I hate that For our last stop, we are here at the Chaipon It is a pagoda representing the four Buddhas that came to the world And they said that they're still waiting for the fifth Buddha in the future it stands 90 feet. So tall. 